show in Brooklyn for motherfucking Nickelsdorf Austria. You'd best watch your man. Here we go, everybody together. We just played Nova Rock, and now I'm walking over to uh, check out Frank Carter of the Rattlesnakes. I just want to take a moment to acknowledge to everybody out there how fortunate I am, how psyched I am, how lucky I am. Um, a couple days ago, I we played the gigantic festival, and then I ran over and watched Bell Attack play and destroy. And now today, we just played a fucking awesome show. And now I'm going to watch Frank Carter get up there with uh, the Rattlesnakes and destroy. I mean, come on, man. So. Um, it's not lost to me. It's not lost at all. Also, happy Father's Day. Exactly what that's the energy I want. 
When we back, when? When is it? October. We'll see you in October, fuck yeah. So, I'm uh, walking to, I think I found um, this hotel that we stayed at when we were here in Hamburg. I wanna say 16 years ago. <laughs> um, and uh, it's kinda like across the street in this big empty lot where there is this uh, carnival thing set up for a few years there. Each time we came back to Hamburg, there was, this carnival would be there. And then one time we came back and it was gone. Okay, this appears to be the, the area, the lot. <laughs> I mean, this is definitely it, where the, uh, all those carnival rides were set up. Looks like we got a big TV there. We've got the soccer match going. There's no carnival right now. Not a lot of traffic either. It's like a sleepy Monday, Monday evening here in uh, Hamburg. All right, so I found it. Dig that. This is right like um, Billy Lee. Hey man, if you ever watched this video, right over there, that's where that coffee cart was. Remember that? It was like that little coffee cart. We kind of peeled off the bus just parked over on the street here. Walked across the street and we're like, oh, bonus coffee cart. <laughs> and there you have it, folks, as promised. This is the NH Hotel that we stayed at. I wanna say it was August, Hello, this is very awesome. <laughs> so we got an interesting situation here today because outdoor show at Scott Park, but it, it's gonna rain during showtime, right, Hayao? It's gonna rain. We're gonna have. <laughs> We're gonna have like a mini Woodstock out there. Oh yeah. So bring your raincoat. Bring your raincoat. Sure. Yeah, hey, one, two, yeah. Hey, one, two, yeah. One, two. Here's a new level of class and distinction we've yet to see ever. Look at this, the urinal has a lid. How do you like that one? Now?
check this out. Malmo, Sweden today. We got a local beer. Let's check out the name of this beer. Here's something I don't think I've done before. We uh, just got in a hotel here in Malmo after the show. It's pretty cool. We get to hang out here for two nights. And I got my room key. I'm just going in. I haven't been in this room yet, so. Here we go. thing here. Cool. Pretty, 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 pretty good. There was a spot here, uh, the first like some time I came over in the summer uh, to Europe with the band in August 2008, where me my good friend Billy Lee sat. We had a day off here in Malmo. Same thing, played in Malmo, either before or after the day off. And then we sat at this outdoor bar, drinking uh, these Erdinger Hefeweizens and eating chili otter. It was like spicy peanuts, spicy crunchy peanuts. But um, I, don't, I don't know, <laughs> you, it's hard for me to convey. You gotta, uh, you gotta understand that that day after that day, Chilinotter became like um, the stuff of legend in this camp for a little while. It became like a thing. Uh, Billy Lee and I like ate our weight in friggin' Chilinotter that day. And uh, I think I'm about to hop upon the spot where it all went down right now. So I think it's right around this corner. Let's take a look. Well, of course, things are gonna have changed a little bit in the past 16 years, but fairly certain you can see that's the bar right there. Found it, dude. Check it out. There it is. That's the outdoor bar area. Looks a little different now where the where it all went down, baby. <laughs> so, uh, now I'm going to get even more ridiculous and I don't know if you guys recall a couple years ago I went and photographed a stupid cigarette machine that I'd taken a picture of 14 years before but um, there's an even more anonymous photo on my uh, Flickr page which is kind of dead I haven't really posted anything there for the past like seven or eight years but um, all these crazy old photos and they're not in any kind of chronological order from back in those times on my Flickr page. And there's one really random photo um, in Malmo, Sweden. There's a couple on there. They're not labeled Malmo, so um, I'll try to take a screenshot of one and throw it up in the video and then compare it to what I am uh, what I get now. So let's see if I can try to recreate that. It's gonna look a little bit different because at the time I was using my um, Canon point-and-shoot camera that I had bought in 2008. I didn't have a smartphone yet, so yeah, you know. See, let's see what let's see what we can do here.
is this place, man? What's going on here? I don't know that I'm going to pay the admission, but um, the existence of this place is pretty sweet. Look at this. Here we are in Sweden, Scandinavia, but they got um, some canned fish here. And there's one thing, I don't even know if I have the stones to mess with this stuff, man. It's like a tube of fish. What? I'm really, really torn here. I feel like I have to try this and I feel like I really don't want to.